Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. My name is Mr. E.T. and in today's vlog, this is it. This is the day where we trade in the Mark 7 GTI and this is the last time you guys will see it on the channel. So stay tuned. And there she is guys, final resting place. Are you guys ready to see this new car? I don't think you're ready. guys a 2019 mark seven and a half golf r in lapis blue so you're probably thinking what the hell right i've never spoken about a different car on the channel i've never spoken about changing the gti um you know what it's funny because in 2015 when i decided to get the mark seven gti you know i couldn't really afford the r model and ever since then, you know, there's been this thing in the back of my mind and if ever it was possible for me to upgrade, I would be really all over that. So I started looking around maybe two, three months ago and, you know, started looking at used Mark 7.5 Golf R's as well as Audi S3's, which is basically the same car with a different outer skin and different interior. And... I was looking for a used one, you know, 30, 40,000 kilometers on it, 25,000 miles on it, so fairly new. And I came across this guy here that was actually brand new at a local VW dealership and they had this VIP event coming up. So I decided to hit them up, speak to the salesperson who had sold me the GTI previously and we started working things out. And eventually, I was able to make this work, which is why you see this car today. So in upgrading the car, there were two things that I was absolutely looking for. One, I needed to have all-wheel drive. I didn't really like my experiences at the track where I was just having trouble leaving. I live in a climate where there is snow on the ground seven to eight months every year. So I needed something that had all-wheel drive. And I wanted something overall that was just quicker. So I was getting tired of the manual transmission even though I absolutely loved it in the Mark 7 GTI. And so I decided it was time to upgrade to the 7-speed DSG. So this is a base Mark 7.5 Golf R with the DSG option. Aside from that, it does not have the parking sensors and the assists and all that. And it does not have the black optics package with the carbon fiber mirrors and the dark wheels because I enjoy the Pretora wheels in their original color. So let's have a look at this car a little bit more. So we've got the updated front, updated rear on this. We've got the Pretoria wheels. Brake calipers are black with the R logo, R logo. We've got the black mirror caps. We've got the updated interior for 2018-19. We've of course got the digital cockpit, the eight inch screen. And the first thing we're gonna do to this thing is I've got the stock carpets in there. So we're gonna swap those out to the all weather ones because we're just heading into winter. So we've got the brand new monster mats that are the Golf R ones. And being that this is basically the same car as the one I had before, we're gonna be reinstalling the intake, 
we're going to be reinstalling the turbo muffler delete, the turbo inlet elbow, and I've still got the OBD11, um, so we're going to look at some coding in the short term as well. So you're going to see a ton of content on this new Mark 7.5 Golf R in the next few weeks on the channel. So if you're looking forward to more content about these types of cars, please do subscribe, leave a like on this video, and I look forward to seeing you again in the next few weeks.